If you make a lot of workshop jigs and fixtures, you probably know the value of T-Track. There are all sorts of clamps and hold downs and other accessories made to fit inside. The problem is, the scuff can be expensive, especially if you need a lot of it. We've been working on a miter station for an upcoming video series, and we needed about seven or eight feet of this stuff, which would run about 40 or 50 bucks, depending on where you buy yours. So we decided to make our own. It does require two router bits, one of which you probably already have, but the other one is a one-time purchase that can be used, along with the tips in this video, to make miles of the stuff for what will amount to pennies a foot. First, you need some hardwood. No pine, it won't be strong enough. The strength is in the upper lips. The thinner these are, the more likely they'll break under pressure. I like the upper lips to be about 3 16 of an inch thick. Likewise, you want a thick enough bottom to your track to keep the wood from splitting. A quarter inch is about right for that. The first cut is made with a 5 16 inch straight router bit. You may get by with a quarter inch bit instead, which is a little more common, but since you're likely to be using quarter inch bolts in the track, I like a little extra room, so I go with the 5 16 straight bit that's set to cut about a half inch deep. This leaves me about a quarter inch of material on the bottom. We're using a power feeder on this router table, but that's not necessary. A regular router table and push box will work just fine. After the initial groove is cut, swap over to a T-slot bit. I'll put a link to the ones I use in below this video. They come in two sizes. I'm using the smaller of the two because this is three-quarter inch thick hardwood. If I had thicker hardwood, I could use the larger T-slot bit. The difference between the small and large bits, other than their size, is the large bit creates a slot which a quarter inch nut or the head of a bolt will fit into, while the smaller bit cuts a slot for flat oval nuts and for the heads of T-bolts. If you have to move your router table fence to install the new bit, make sure you mark its position so you can get the fence right back in the same spot, because you want this second pass to be directly down the center of the first groove. Notice I didn't cut quite as deep with this slot cutting bit, leaving a shallow channel in the bottom of the groove. I think that's better for those flat oval T-nuts. We cut these T-tracks right into the aprons that attach to the front of our workstation, but you could trim away the excess wood on each side and then you'd have a piece of narrow wooden T-track that's a bit bulkier than the extruded aluminum stuff, but it'll sure be a lot cheaper in the long run. MyWoodCutters.com is the sort of small business I like to support. Stefan is a great guy and he can find you knives and cutters for almost any joiner, planer, shaper, or molding machine. And his are the best prices if you're planning to upgrade to a helical carbide cutter head. Please use the link below this video to check with him before you buy somewhere else. Some small businesses are just worth supporting. Wait, don't go yet. If you're new here, please subscribe and remember to ring the bell. I would really appreciate that. Give us a thumbs up or better yet, leave us a comment. I always read them. And be sure to check out the latest issue of Stumpy Nubs Woodworking Journal. It's always packed with tips, tricks, and tutorials designed to make you a better woodworker.